I want to move on to a concern that many uh, uh, folks on across this country have about this administration and about the things that are being done outside the norm and certainly, uh, some believe, outside legal limits. The Washington Post and New York Times reported last month that you were soliciting funds from the health industry uh, officials to support the implementation and enrollment in the Affordable Care Act. Is that true? Uh, no, sir, that is not true. So you didn't communicate, have any discussions with folks at the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation or H&R Block about you asked me if I solicited funds from anyone in the health industry, and I said, no, that is not true. Did you have any discussions or conversations with anyone about uh, providing uh, resources to anybody about enrollment or implementation of ACA? Sir, I have had conversations with people all across this country, including insurance companies, pharmaceutical companies, and others, using the statutory authority that is clearly given to the Secretary of Health in the Public Health Service Act and has been used by my predecessors, Republican and Democratic, for every health innovation that has gone on. Secretary Thompson and Levitt made public-private partnership did outreach you, efforts to make sure Medicare Part D enrollment went well. You did ask individuals to assist in providing contributions for the implementation and enrollment of the ACA? I have made two calls involving funding which mm -hmm. I, to Robert Wood Johnson and H&R Block, neither of whom are under the regulatory authority of our office. But I would suggest that the Public Health Service Act does not limit my authority to entities that are not regulated. I chose what did you, to do what did you What did you request of, of Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and H&R Block? I talked to them both about how important this outreach effort was going to be and the fact that always we anticipated having public-private partnerships on the ground, as has been done in CHIP enrollment and in Medicare Part Did D enrollment, and that resources? they consider uh, making Secretary. contributions to our partner uh, in Enroll America, which is a private, not-for-profit, nonpartisan organization incorporated in 2012 under the umbrella of them to provide Families them. USA. Did you ask them to provide resources for any other group at all? I did not because at that point I did not know that there were other groups soliciting funds. I, I talked to them specifically about Enroll America. Did you have any conversations with employees, representatives, or designees of the pharmaceutical Pardon industry? Me? I have any conversations with employees or representatives or designees of the pharmaceutical industry to contribute resources to Enroll America? Those are the only two conversations I've had about contributing resources to Enroll America. I've certainly promoted the partnership role that Enroll America will play in an operation on the ground, much similar to, I would suggest that you look at the ABC, the coalition that was put together for Medicare Part D that Secretary Thompson and Secretary Levitt avidly supported and traveled around with and suggested that they were very important public-private partners. It's the same kind of effort. We're also talking to businesses and pharmaceutical companies and hospitals and insurers and faith groups about using whatever resources they have to help fulfill what I consider to be an incredible opportunity for up to 30 million Americans to have affordable, available health care. Any of those other entities in America? Gentlemen's time has expired.